Hi, today we're going to continue our basic course and we'll be talking about images. We're going to learn how to take photographs with your smartphone and transfer them to the computer. Now you probably already know how to do this, but anyway, we're going to give you a few pointers. You might think that an easy way to find pictures for your audio guide would be through the internet. However, there's a problem with this. Copyright. Who do they belong to? Some media falls under the Creative Commons and can be used if certain rules are followed. For more information on this, please read the article Using Licensed Photographs, which can be found in the link in the materials below. So the best way is to take your own photographs and avoid any possible trouble. This also enables you to get exactly the picture that you're looking for. To begin with, photos which you use are displayed in the app in landscape and in the 4 to 3 ratio. Therefore, it's best to take the photographs with the phone in the horizontal position. Obviously, it's best not to take your photographs when facing into the sunlight. Always make sure that the sun is behind you, and please always make sure that you have good lighting in the daytime. This will ensure that your photographs are crisp and with bright colors. When taking photos of paintings, Please be sure to choose an angle which avoids glare and shine from the painting surface or the casing. And also please don't use flash, as this is a guaranteed way to have problems with glare. Also remember, you can use several photographs for one item in your guide. This means that if at any part in the story you want to talk about a specific area of the painting, then you can use separate close-up shots to focus on that. Okay, so now we have the photograph in our telephone. We open the gallery, choose share, and send this by email. We put in the email address that we want to send it to, and within a couple of minutes it will be available on the computer, just as we did with the audio file. So we've made our audio and our images, and we're finally ready to make our audio guide using the Easy Travel platform. That's the topic for our next lesson.